and a daughter, and I am now a Christian, and I'm getting baptized today, and I'm so excited. I was baptized as a baby, but um, I have had 10 plus, about 15 years of being a staunch atheist, and I'm choosing to get baptized so the world can see that I've been changed, that I'm saved, that I've been transformed. The person who I was a year ago is completely different than who I am right now. The person who I was even a month ago is completely different than who I am right now. I am so excited about what's gonna happen today and about showing the world that I'm a Christian. It's been a long, difficult and trying journey to get where I am today. I've been angry with God, and then I've been in complete denial of his existence. Everyone has struggles, but I felt like I've had more than my fair share. At age nine, my father committed suicide and have been physically and emotionally abused in many relationships. Due to these many other struggles, um, I've struggled with depression and suicide has been a consistent thought and struggle in my life. But I know no matter what, I am loved. And I now can look back at all those trials and realize that I wasn't alone, that God was there with me, and he was holding me, and he was wiping away my tears. But he was also showing me his grace. The rapture could come at any time, and he chose to give me continued opportunities to turn to him. Things started making sense. Books that I read 10 years ago were connecting for me now. Conversations that I had, I just felt like God was talking to me and continued to talk to me through other people. I just kept making excuses that all of these things were just coincidences and I finally just realized they're not coincidences. That this was God speaking into my life, telling me that he loves me and he's always loved me. And I was leaving the grocery store and I turned on the Christian music channel and the words that were in these songs, I just felt in my heart and I just felt overwhelmed. And I started crying and I'm driving with my girls in the car <laughs> and I started praying and should I be pulling over? I had to get my girls home safe. <laughs> but I just felt like God was there with me and telling me that he loved me and there was three songs in a row that just spoke to me and to my heart and I just, I just knew I'm no longer an unbeliever. I believe and I'm loved. I felt changed, and when I talk about him, I just feel God in my heart, and I feel transformed. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. Every time I hear that, it's God speaking to me. I just know that God is here, and God is loving me, and I'm so grateful for everybody who stood by me and spoke into my heart and loved me, even when I felt pretty unlovable. I can physically feel God's love, and I want everybody to feel this. I want to shout it from the rooftops and let everybody know. I want everybody to feel this love. I want everybody to feel his arms around them. Uneducated, or I just never understood, and now I just feel it. And I just want everybody to be able to have this kind of relationship with Him. I know, I was just thinking, <laughs> I was like, really?
think uh, you have a warm towel or something? Because, I mean, the water is warm. Are you good? I'm good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> special moment. You've heard her testimony. There's no denying that God's got a hold of her heart. Is there anything else that you want to say to the crowd before we, uh, I, I get to dump you without getting in trouble for it? I'm really looking forward to this. Anything else you want to say to this group of people that have come here to show you love today? Thank you for being patient with me. Just for continuing to love me. I appreciate it. We love you, Miss Megan! I don't like my face in the water. <laughs> yes, it's going down. Well, listen, baptism is again a symbolic expression of the love that we have for Jesus. It's on the back of the shirt, it says, Not ashamed, and it's because we don't mind telling the world that, look, I have placed my faith in Jesus, I've been redeemed, and uh, I'm not afraid to show that to the world. So, Kim. It's, uh, it's my understanding you're professing Jesus as Lord and Savior. You're following through a baptism to identify public with, publicly with him that your life belongs to him. Is that right? Yes. It is one of the greatest privileges of my life. Grab that hand right there. You grab your nose because I know it's going to water. I'm going to do this number. We're going to pull you up. It is one of the greatest privileges of my life to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 